We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. out of the way time to buckle down for the long season ahead and we're off in week two fielded in the end zone and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback at their own 19 yard line So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Back to throw, Tannehill. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Josh Jones. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first drive, pick six. The offense never got a chance to really get oiled up there, did they? But the defense, they certainly got in gear. What a big-time play and a great way for them to start. And now the Josh offense, Lambeau they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and it's now a 7-0 game. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. The tackle made by Caleb on chase on. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. A nice carry there by Derrick Henry, picks up a first down. And when you say workhorse, you're thinking about Derrick Henry. Won the rushing title in 2019 with 1,540 yards on the ground and 16 rushing touchdowns. Went to his first Pro Bowl and carried his team to the AFC Championship game. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Now the first carry for Darrington Evans. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 26 and a first down. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And he finds a man on the crossing round. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Ten yards on the So pickup. not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Now a run with Evans. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. At the 26-yard line. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. The tackle made. The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. 
Brings on second and nine. Tannehill. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. 16-yard line. Watch twist. Watch twist. Derek Henry. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Here's Tannehill. Eluding the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. What a start defensively. Uh, you, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. So after the INT, it's Brady. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Second and five at the 25-yard line. On play action, it's Brady. And Philip Dorsett holds it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain of 21 yards. First down. Now a play fake. Brady. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's got this down to the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. A gain of 19 yards. And the Jaguar first down. On first down, Brady looking downfield for Jones. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amari Hooker. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Brady. Bear in mind they had two interceptions last week, but that was in four quarters. They've got two here in the first quarter alone. And the unsung people in this street, the pass rushers. Because most of the time, they're the ones that affect things in the pocket for a quarterback trying to throw the football, rushing them, getting them off their spot, harassing them, and that allows the defensive backs, the linebackers, to swoop in and make the picks downfield. And they're swooping. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry brought down around the 16 or 17. Showed some tough running, but couldn't free much space. Yard line. A gain of a yard. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. That's the end of the first quarter with the score Jaguars 7, Titans nothing. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. Being chased out left. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Josh Jones. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. By the Jaguars. And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. 
And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Ain't doing nothing. Picked off near the 29. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those Just eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes the score Jaguars 14, Titans nothing. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes in. And now here is another interception. Picked by Jared Wilson. Now start. to wonder, Charles, at five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. That throw by Brady incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Colin Johnson, his first NFL reception goes for six. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Again, what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. At the 40-yard line. Walk play action, Tannehill. Escaping the ball. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Josh Allen credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Caleb on chase on on the tackle. Brings up third down. Third and long, it's Tannehill. Flushed out right. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. 
It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the rookie from Florida, C.J. Henderson. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. He's had it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. It's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski, maybe not a touchdown, but Boy, he's playing really well. Scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. At the Titans, 38 yards. Throwing on second down. Brady. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Third down. Third and long. Third and long, it's Brady. Flush to his right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked it and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on fourth. They'll go for it. It's Brady. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. Going right back to Jones. This time the connection made. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Julio Jones. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Jaguars 28, Titans nothing. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20 yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Brings up second and 10 at the 20-yard line. Second and 10, Tannehill once more. He's going to try and go deep again. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Titans. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. 
Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Uh, second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team. That they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. It's his target. It's Adrian Peterson. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking deep for Julio. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Leads to second and 10. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Looking downfield for Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Janoris Jenkins on the coverage. Brady to throw again. Got a man, Slayton. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. And the Jaguar first down. Brady now on first down. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Dane Crookshake. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The Titans take over first down. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. 26 mark, 26 mark. After the interception, here's Tannehill. And now here is another interception. Picked up by the rookie from Florida, C.J. Henderson. At a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot before half for Brady. Left side, it's Dorsett. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville at a first down. Looking for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Tannehill. He's going deep for Brown. 
And my goodness, another interception. Picked off near the 44. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Looking deep for Julio. Touchdown, Jaguars. Julio Jones. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. The extra point. And he knocks it through. Makes the score, Jaguars 35, Titans 7. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Their own 20-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you're looking at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. At the 27-yard line. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. So third and long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Hey, hey, hey. They're going to go. It's Tannehill eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Jags take over in terrific field position. They fake the handoff. Now Brady letting one go deep for the end zone. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Julio Jones. 27 yards. And the Jaguars are pouring it on. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The score, Jaguars 42, Titans 7. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line.
Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. to the 24 for a gain of four. Derek Henry, the ball. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. He probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Let's go, get tight now. Again, it's Henry. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. A gain of five brings up on third down, Henry. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. So from the 36 now, first and ten. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. Here's Tannehill. He's going deep for Brown. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the... Won't you get down with me, down with me? 
run them up. I'm lit, so you know what's up. I got the party going up. I jump with the crown, this year. I'm a win anywhere. Hey, so shake it like you don't care. I shake it up everywhere. And I can bake cakes by the pound. Blow the whistle, cause I love that sound. And we can just keep going around. I'm ready for another round. Go ahead, touch down like that. 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 Hey, hey, go ahead, touch down like that. 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 Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Great Zerline to kick off for Dallas. One of two spots in the NFC title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. expire Mike McCarthy's going to take a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter they will run for the first time with Miles Sanders and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'll run with Sanders. He'll have a first down past the 40. The 40. The 20. 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, 74 yards. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. Uh, they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. At their own 21-yard line. on the carry there it'll be second down certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield their job is to go ahead and get low almost get into a ball sometimes stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole they run it for the first time with Tony Pollard and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair they'll wind up losing four yards on the play and that'll make it third and 13.
Defense, let's go. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. At the 45-yard line. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Take him down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Pollard. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, 43 yards! And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. And this carries into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Hurts to throw. Forced out to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hurts. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. It's sad and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. To number six. A big play there. 76 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive, and it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. 
Now they try the right side here. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Now they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 28-yard line. A pickup of five that time and a first down. First and ten at the 28-yard line. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, it's Pollard. Well, oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So as they take it over, we step aside. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run for it with Pollard. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. For a Cowboys. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Eagles 14, Cowboys 7. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Here's Pollard. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 31 yards there, the first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. A gain of three, second down. Brings up second and seven. Now a handoff looking right. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Anthony. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. On third down, Pollard. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. It's fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Zerline good with a PAT. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out. Just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Buying time to his left. He'll try and run it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Demarcus Lawrence on the stop. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. 
at the 39-yard line. Throwing his hurts. Escaping the pressure right. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. Play action. Here's Hurts. Dancing to his And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jalen Smith. He's the culprit dropping him for a two-yard loss. Third and long. Hurts sets up to throw it. This ball complete to Rager. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, and it's good for a first down as well. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. On the draw, here's Sanders. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles have moved out in front. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. He would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> 23 yards the pick up there. The 49 yard line. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Mackenzie Alexander in on the tackle. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, it's Pollard. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Zerline so connects on the extra point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Catch made at the 25-yard line. The Eagles take over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. He's got a man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. 
They're going to look to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And it's second down. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Incomplete. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This will be from 56 yards out. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. They'll run with Pollard. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect. But overall, you like what your game plan is showing you. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. Brings up third and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Here we go on fourth down. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. As Sanders there with a first down carry that might have gotten a yard, if that. Second down. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Another run here with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And he's going to go down here and sack. They push him back to the 34. Jalen Smith, his second sack of the night. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. 
and sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game. But I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They'll try and throw for it here. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game, and if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Out of the gun now on third down. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. That's to his running back, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Seven-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers that go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. He'll look to throw. Oh, batted at the line and intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. Bring it! Bring it! And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Elliott now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Elliott now to kick this one away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. 
Apparently the week off hasn't hurt him one bit. Thousand yard rush in the regular season. Get his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great article in the paper this morning basically saying that they would not have won the division without him. And he's not their only piece, but I think that's a fair statement. It's easy to say it this way. He's their main cog. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 42. to throw. Steps away to his left. Left side here to Sanders. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. On first down. Sanders. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A gain of four. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 30. The Eagles on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Oh, no. He lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. forward for six yards six yards on that last play here's second and four it's a pickup of six brings up second another carry down for Gurley and he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 the Eagles on third down they've been near perfect four for five at this point this time they face a third and two they'll try and pick up the first with Gurley I don't think Gurley got there. Looks like the defense held him back. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. They need to come up with something as they get this drive started. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second and six. And again give this time to the tailback. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. But not much on that run, Charles. But no, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On third down, Pollard. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. 
And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Nine good yards here on the run and now third down. It's a game of nine. Here's Pollard again. Third and four. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. At the 50-yard line. They'll run on first down. Pollard. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. Well, but he picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. On second down now. Pollard. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. The Eagles are going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Back to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. And this would call on the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. He'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And the Eagles season will continue at least one more week. Thanks for watching and so long, everybody. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium. Sometimes we need a friend Not the ones that just show up and don't
don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh, sometimes you need a foe. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that want to keep you where you've been before. But I can't go. No, I can't go. And whoa, huh, sometimes I need a check. Not the sneakers, but the ones that make you watch your step. You know, I sat down with my accountant, he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, well, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bay. You can't negotiate with Drake. You gon' have to pay, but wait. Jugging on the main stage, the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. Protect my energy before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, such a force of nature. Boss. I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I want to see. Oceanfront residences, three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that, it's time to learn that Mess around and put that thing up where your permit Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that At the front of this line is where my turn at Sometimes you need a friend Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in And then, sometimes you need a fool Oh Men gon' lie, women gon' lie, you're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what your eyes. Everybody claim to be greatest of all times, when you never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie, no lie. Stop playing on my phone line. Pull up in the space group with the roof, I'm sure no. Wonder why they follow suit. I've been groomed from the womb, came out of my mama. Cause I'm running to the shoes, faster than the speed and bullet. Nah, 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 it's cool, it's cool. Don't play with it, play. Say, what you gon' do?